Hey, uh. To whoever may need this nugget of encouragement, things will be all right. So quit your worry. I get it. One of the hardest things about building a production, podcasting, YouTube, TikTok studio is finding furniture that can actually act as storage, but also fits the aesthetics of the studio itself. So recently I moved back to Fort Smith, Arkansas from Dallas, Texas, and my goal was to create a podcasting studio here where I can record my own podcast, but also where I can invite guests or other entrepreneurs or creators to create their own podcast in this space as well. So I got this entire dolly loaded up and the packages are so heavy that the dolly literally won't move. So that means that in this 102 degree weather, I'm gonna have to take up all the packages one by one. So the configuration that I have today comes in a ton of boxes, as you can see here. And I just wanna give a warning, a caution to everyone so you don't make the same mistake I did. You're definitely gonna need some help moving these boxes because they are very, very heavy. And honestly, I think this has to do with the quality of the desk. And so moving those heavy boxes makes me really excited to see what's in them. So today's video is sponsored. And I know a lot of people get afraid when they hear that word sponsored, but I can promise you that I'm not gonna be putting out any content on my channel or really anywhere on the internet endorsing products that I don't believe in. Now, the cool thing about Vernal is like I said, they actually make furniture and good looking furniture at that. So not only do they have these electric adjustable desks, but they also have different storage organizers as well, which like I said, is so, so important. There are so many content creators and YouTubers who just go straight to those Husky desks. And so if you want something that's a little bit more nice, a little bit more high quality than these organizers, maybe something you wanna look at. But after getting all the boxes up and loaded into my studio, it was time to begin the setup process. And everything was super simple because the actual instructions laid it out perfectly. Now, while I was going through the instructions and setting everything up, I had the thought, let me know in the comment section below if you are one of those guys, one of those girls who don't look at instructions. I hear that that's a pretty popular thing, really amongst males, that they don't look at the instructions and they just go in and try to set everything up. Why would you do that? It's all perfectly laid out for you. I am an instruction guy, but if you're one who's not, let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so this is the brain to the entire setup, the control box, which I was very curious about because with this desk, with it being an electric desk that raises up and down, you have three different legs that will adjust and go down. Typically you only have two. So I was wondering how do all these legs connect together? seamlessly to go up and down at the same time because obviously the corner piece is not separate. So this is the box that does all that. You have the three inputs on here, which is pretty interesting. So setting up the desk itself took a very long time. And so you do wanna make sure that you block out some time, pretty much like a whole day, because this is not something that you can do very quickly, or at least for me, it wasn't something that I could do quickly because I wanted to take my time, make sure that I did everything right so I wouldn't have to go back and do it again. Now, after I got the first part of the desk done, it was now time to flip it over and see what it finally looked like. Okay, so we are pretty much done at this point. The last thing we have left with getting the desk set up is this pop-up outlet, which is super cool. And all I have to do is drop it in and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Okay, so check this out. All you do is press down and look how cool that is. That's crazy. So I finished setting up the desk and now it was time to move over to setting up the V-Series desk shelf. Now this piece was definitely the fastest piece of furniture to set up out of all of them. This took pretty much no time and it was super simple to do. So moving on, we are now setting up one of my favorite pieces of furniture that's actually gonna transform the studio and get a lot of the clutter away. And that's the Vernal file cabinet. So with all that excitement of seeing how good this one looked, it was now time to set up the side cabinet, which was much bigger, which would give me a lot more storage. And this one actually went really fast as well. However, again, like I said, I did take my time. I wanted to make sure I was doing everything the correct way. 
Okay, so I wanted to go through and break up my results, my final thoughts about this whole desk, the cabinet, the filing cabinet, and everything else that comes with this as well. When it comes to quality, this looks amazing in my studio. And honestly, I think it would look just as good in any other studio as well. Like I said, when it comes to actually having furniture of any sorts within my production studio, it was super important to me that not only was it functional, but it also fit the aesthetics of the studio itself, which means that I'm able to film in these different locations and it looks good. I'm able to do close-ups with my hand over the desk and it looks good. And I can say that this desktop checks all of those boxes. I mean, even when we're talking about room, I have so much room on this desk to really do whatever I want to. If I want to set up a top-down set, I have the option to do that. If I want to use it as a background, I actually have the option to do that as well because the desk itself looks good. It looks of quality. And when we're talking about the adjustability, this desk goes lower than any other desk I've ever seen. So if for some reason you want to get the desk really low, you can do that pretty easily with this desk and you can also go pretty high as well with this desk. Now, if you're a content creator, or especially if you're a PC builder or anything like that, you know how important cable management is. And it's so cool. I mean, I was actually shocked that they actually built that right into the desk. So you get some cable management built under the desk itself. It comes with this little shelf. And honestly, I wasn't expecting this at all. In fact, I had my own cable organizer that I thought I was going to have to install on the desk and kind of make it look all clunky. But I didn't have to do that because they actually had everything built into this desk that came with the box ready to go to actually make everything look sleek you don't really see any cables hanging around anywhere at all around this desk i didn't really expect it to fit my tv as well as it does but it does a perfect job on the desk and it actually fits so good with the aesthetics of the desk itself i think it makes everything looks nice and sleek i'm able to hide my dock right under the shelf itself slide my computer right in, put my remotes in there. And I haven't even really found a way to use the shelf itself yet. And I'm still getting a lot of versatility out of this desk shelf. Okay, now let's move on to storage with the two cabinets. Now the filing cabinet, which I'm not really using as a filing cabinet, goes right under my desk, which is perfect because I can include like a cleaning cloth in there, or if I have like some SD cards, some storage, I can put all of that in there. And then the bottom section, I really haven't even figured out what to use for it yet. I'm sure I'll figure out something to put in there, but I am happy that I have that option of that big storage section to use as well. And moving on to the actual side cabinet, this is perfect to use as a charging station and to organize all your batteries, lenses, or different accessories for content creation. I can use the open area to slide in different bags or accessories that I'm using like gimbal cases, or I have a little tool pouch that I love to use for all of my different camera accessories that can go in there as well. And then right under that open area, you have two different shelves. One of them I'm using just for my camera accessories. The other side, like I said, I really haven't been able to fill this whole thing up yet, which is exciting because that means when I get more stuff, I'll have places to put it but then the big bottom part which has a lock on it which is very nice in case i want to lock away something that i don't want people messing with i have two different bins that i placed in there to organize my cores and other accessories guys like i said again i still have storage left over it within this side cabinet as well so being completely honest, completely transparent with you guys, I really do feel like these pieces of furniture was exactly what I needed to complete my studio build. So if you've been watching this video and you are interested in getting a desk, you can save 6% off by checking out the links below in the description. Or if you wanna order a desk between July 10th and August 20th, you can actually get a free accessory if you order over a certain amount. Or if you order a desk, you can actually get 50% off an ergonomics chair as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you haven't seen the studio space yet, I hope you enjoy seeing that as well. Maybe I'll do a studio tour here in the future. But for now, thank you guys for watching and you should check out this video right over here.